pretty adamant about making each of the fights very unique. It's so difficult because there's no environmental change, so how do you make it different? And that was the key. You had to change it up, not only with the choreography, but also with the way some of the scenes were shot and just the overall tone. You can have a bit of a scramble to you getting on her back and then yeah, that's get her you down can, and not even crawling do. up her body to yeah. I'd come up with a base for the, just the base of the way that a fight should move, and it was involving characteristics and building the fight based off of that. Now, I'd even do a few palms totally. into the temple. Crack you in the face. Crack you in the face. And then just grabbing the face and rubbing it in the dirt. You could almost be like, <sighs> yeah, on top, on of, top of her, totally. and then like. <sighs> Roll off. From Cody to uh, Phoebe, even Zoe, Sabrina, were, each one of them had a backstory. Zoe's character, Sabrina, being trained in the military, so how she was, of course, a little bit better of a fighter than most women. And then you have the dynamic of Phoebe, who's a complete sociopath, the complete psycho. <laughs> She's really gonna do anything it takes, more so than anything, just to be disgusting to survive. I wonder how many of you I get to kill. She can easily go to that place of maiming a human being, killing a human being, without any second thought, where I definitely think it plays a lot when you see the difference between Cody especially and Phoebe. Cody being this sweet young girl that has never thrown a punch in her life and has to survive in this arena, has to bring forth these animalistic primal urges to actually survive. But I really had no idea what I was signing up for. I did an hour of strength and conditioning training, an hour of boxing, and then three hours of fight training, about four days a week. So it was definitely physically, for me, the hardest role I've ever, I've ever played, definitely. I want Sabrina! I think I had two days off in the whole shoot or something. Far too it's like, it's really violent. The girls absolutely killed it. To come into, you know, most of these women not being stunt women, to come into that situation, and fight for seven to eight hours in an arena and be safe and keep it looking good. It was very challenging, as well as only having about two weeks to prep the ladies. Get that conversation happening. After every fight scene, it would take me about two days to recover. <laughs> So each of the fights and the action sequences like holds a, a special place in my heart, but but there's a couple that I was looking forward to. Two, 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 and leave it out. Perfect. One uh, was the initial fight between Zoe Bell and Rachel Nichols, just because it's brutal and it's long and it's just kind of epic. I'm sorry. I always had like a very clear vision for how I wanted it to be. To have fights be gritty and be choreographed but not look choreographed in the traditional sense of, you know, punch, block, blah, blah, just to have them acted out almost and to have them seem almost real. fighting to the death is sort of a different thing to men fighting. You know, men fight to kill and be victorious and, you know, but for women, generally speaking, it's a far more emotional coming from somewhere way more sort of maternal and instinctive and sad somehow. I wanted to get the, we wanted to get the reality of what it was for women to have to kill each other. Every day was difficult. Every, everything was difficult. We had no time for everything not to be difficult. <laughs> So I wish that I could be like, oh, it was just that one shot that was tough. No, it was it was all tough. I was having fun and then it creeped me out a little bit. <laughs> but she's back to normal. Well.